Now to the war in Ukraine. The first round of peace talks are over with no sign of a ceasefire. Missile strikes continue in Ukraine tonight with hundreds of casualties being reported. CBS 2's Marissa Perlman is keeping a close eye on developments and joins us with what's happened today. Marissa. A lot to get to, guys. Thank you. Five days into Russia's invasion, the Kremlin again raised the threat of nuclear war as fighting and missile attacks continue in multiple Ukrainian cities. We know dozens of civilians were killed and hundreds more wounded when Russian forces started firing in Ukraine's second largest city, Kharkiv. As you can see from this map here, Russian troops are now widely scattered across Ukraine, north south, east, and west, a heavy presence throughout. And this comes as Russian and Ukrainian delegations met for their first talks since this invasion began. But tonight, there's no immediate agreement on a ceasefire. Destruction continues in Ukraine. This video shows black smoke rising after a supermarket was hit. Not far from here, 16 people were hurt when the city of Cherniv was hit by rockets, a sign of why half a million Ukrainians are fleeing for neighboring countries. People, everybody are scared about what's happened and they're waiting what will be. That now familiar sound, sirens in Kyiv as night falls, explosions and gunfire, a symbol now of daily life, outgunned but determined. The Ukrainian resistance in full swing, volunteers taking up arms, and a group of women seen here in an assembly line making Molotov cocktails. Ukrainian troops have slowed Russia's advance, holding onto the capital, at least for now. Near the Belarus border, talks between Russian and Ukrainian officials to negotiate a ceasefire ended in a standstill. And while Russian military leaders have promised not to target civilians, there are also reports like this from Ukrainian journalist Darja Stomatova. This used to be a school and we're going to go back there because, yeah, you now you see the body of soldiers. But in the dark, there is light. This video of a baby boy born in a Ukrainian hospital now being shared around the world. Staff here writing shootings were happening nearby, but the baby was born safely in conditions far from what this newborn deserves. We've just learned in the last hour more than 30 Chicago aldermen are calling on the city to revoke Moscow's sister city status until the conflict is over and diplomacy returns. We'll be following. Erica. Marissa, thank you.